Hi, I'm Ron Moose and I do metal detecting. Please check out my channel for some nice videos on metal detecting in the Netherlands. And don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. No, this is not my long-awaited first fishing video of 2014. This is another metal detecting hunt. I'm going back to the place where I found the gold ring, silver ring and numerous silver coins. But this time I'm hunting a slightly different area and I'm actually using a different detector. Shock horror. I've had great success with the Deus in pretty much all areas I've searched up there. But this time I'm going up with the E-Track. Hello there. No, I have not got a new detector, believe it or not. This is the E-Track. It's come out of retirement. But I've taken the huge 18 inch coil off and I've stepped it down back to the stock 11 inch coil. I'm back in the field where I found the gold ring. Hopefully I'll go nice and deep. I've got my zombie killing spade from King Digger. Got all the tools for the job. See how I get on. Ah, I found a signal somewhere around here. It was a good signal, a little bit erratic, but I thought it might be deep silver. Um, and now I can't find it, so just give me a minute. I think it's here. Just take the headphones out, let you have a listen to this. This is a, It's a good signal, but it seems quite deep. It's reading 1335 to 1336. Yeah, same that way as well. So I'm going to give this one a live dig so that you know there's no shenanigans. Because we don't like those shenanigans. And actually, one thing I will say is that I like to get the spade straight up and down, vertical. So you get nice vertical sides to the hole. I've seen quite a few people in the tent to put the spade in at an angle like that, which cuts like a, a pyramid. You stand a good chance of ruining your find if you do that. So one, two, three. Nice straight sides. And we'll drag the camera over to have a look. I hope this isn't something crap. It looks like another coin ball. And if this is what I think it is, I'll be very happy. Ah, all of that for a modern half pence. <laughs> what a little bugger. Ah. So it just seems like a load of old rubbish is turning up. But what I've neglected to show you, and because I didn't want to have this on first, is what turned up in the first hole where I dug a decent coin signal. Here we've got a coin ball, just came out of there. Now this was a really erratic signal, but it was kind of reading 12.31 to 10.20 or thereabouts. It was jumping sideways, which normally isn't a good sign, but it is a ball, so I'm quite hopeful. Actually, if I'm going to make a prediction, uh, Threepenny bit, silver. I haven't found any coins at all yet, only ring pulls, but that's what I'm hoping for. There's definitely something in there. Oh, get in there. I'm wrong. I'm wrong, but I'm happy. <laughs> it's a sixpence. 1935, and that's in good condition as well. Look at that. Normally you get them a little bit scabby. Post 1920, but that is... Uh, <laughs> that's excellent. Get in there. This was another quite erratic signal. It's reading 13.43, but it was bouncing up and down a little bit. 
and apparently it's in here somewhere. Well, that's a lump of coke. Don't think the e track would have been reading that, although it is wet. And that's a coin ball. Coke, coin ball. Right next to each other. I don't think the Deus would have found that. It would have picked up on the coke. So this could be one I've missed with the Deus. Ah, big deal. Modern penny. Here we've got one that's reading 1243. I think it's a modern penny, but I have been proved wrong before. It's in a coin ball, so I'm hoping it is at least a coin. Ah, another modern penny. This one was reading 1233, and it's stuck in there. Ah, I think that's actually a dress weight. It looks like a button. In fact, I thought it was a coin at first, but it's actually made of lead. And it's got two little holes there. And these would be sewn into the seams of women's dresses back in the day to weight them down, stop them blowing up in the wind. Just dug another coin ball from there. I think it's a modern penny, but I'm hoping it isn't. It's not looking good. It's got rusty traces around it. <sighs> modern penny. This signal was jumping all over the place. It started out by reading 12.35 and then as I moved around it was leaping up and down. But in there we've got a coin ball. And it isn't a coin. That's probably why the signal was leaping all over. Looks like a little round button, a little coppery button. Nothing on it though, it's just a plain one. I just dug this hole and I found a rusted nail. That was in there, roughly. It's roughly in there. Straight underneath there, there's something else. And it was reading 1040. I better take that out of the way in case I dig that up again. So whatever it is in here, this is what was getting read by the machine. It's a bottle top. Oh, I've got about an hour to go and I haven't found that much. I've only found one pre-decimal coin and that was the sixpence with the first coin dig. After that it's been pennies and half pennies and a couple of twenty pences. This one's reading 12.40, so I'm hoping that this one is, at the very least, pre-decimal. It's a coin ball, so that's a good start. Oh well. <laughs> it's a threepenny bit. The pre-decimal one, George, George VI, I think. Let's have a look. Yeah. George the Sixth, 1942, Threepenny Bit. So now I've found two pre-decimal coins, and it's better than note. Oh. Got something reading 1336. I've pulled a couple of rusty lumps of iron out of here, just little ones. And supposedly there's something in here. It looks like a coin ball. Oh, it's very small. Possibly another hairpenny. Although I don't I don't wish it to be. Ah, uh, look at that man. Look at that. Way down, tiny little hairpenny. Hmm, that's a good big flat lump of lead. I thought it was a spoon when I first saw it in the hole. But I'm not quite sure what that could be off. It doesn't even appear to have a hole through it or anything. 
So, any ideas? Answers on a postcard, please. In the last half hour, I've dug some absolute trash. One pences, two pences, half pences, a couple of pound coins. I have got two coin balls here, though. So, I just hope that there's something decent in here. Start with a little one. <sighs> Modern penny. And this big one isn't ball shaped, so I think this might not even be a coin. What? Where is it? Oh, half pence. So those two coin balls, one pence and half pence. What a disaster. There's a bit of iron in there as well. So we've got a lump of iron here and a big buckle. That gave a very good signal. It was down, oh, I don't know, seven or eight inches maybe. This one was reading a loud and proud 1235. And it's a halfpenny, pre-decimal one. It's pretty old actually. Very worn. 1921, so that's George V. Oh, actually it's not in bad condition that side. Try and get a bit of sun on it. Nah, you can, it looks awful. Yeah, that's better, in the shade. Not too bad. I think I'll call this one the last dig of the day. Judging by the time on the clock tower there, I think I've got about five minutes detecting time and I'm probably not going to get another good signal after this one. I've got a coin ball there. It's quite a big one as well, so I'm not too disheartened by this one. Hopefully it won't be a penny. It was reading 12... Uh, 12.38 oh. oh man It's yet another penny Hmm One last dig on the way back to the van And that looks like an extremely old coin Possibly Georgian uh, It looks like it's got something stamped in it as well I can't see what that says, but it looks like an old coin with something stamped in it. Possibly D O W, maybe, I don't know. Or oh, is it? No, that wheel. That's the one for the tumbler. Stick that fella in, might be able to read that. So I get back from the hunt, pretty happy that the silver streak has continued, and I find this waiting for me. And whenever you see a package with XP written on, it's never going to be bad news. Ta -da! The 11 inch coil has arrived. I've had excellent success with the 9 inch coil, but this new 11 inch is meant to get deeper, so I'm going to give that a go in the next few videos. I'm really looking forward to that. So now I think it's about time we had a look at another display case from Malcolm and Moira's collection. Please enjoy.
Excellent. Now, a couple of videos ago, I did mention that I was going to do another put and take trench art giveaway. I'm going to do that in probably the next video. I'll not add it to a detecting video. I'll make it just a, a short one or two minute video. And I'll probably just ask you just to put competition or something if you want to enter it. And that, that'll be just simple as that. Comments will just be competition, 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 competition. If you want to enter, before I upload the next video, I'll scan through them, pick one at random, that'll be the winner. Keep it really simple. Oh, just a very quick update on the gold seal ring that I found two or three videos ago. Um, it's pretty much been confirmed that it's from the late 1700s to early 1800s and it would most likely have belonged to the original mansion owner. The insignia on it, which is the lion with the cross, which is a symbol of power, seems to fit quite well with his position, which was the Sheriff of Northumberland. At the moment, the ring's with the people who look after the mansion, but I am gonna take it to the Fines Liaison Officer. I know it's not old enough, but he might be able to pull up a little bit more information about it. I'll surely get it back, so, the people in the mansion will in turn get it back. They're going to put it in a little display case or something up in one of their private offices. So it's really nice that it'll be going back to the place where it was originally lost. If you want to see which settings I was using on the e-track, I'll put a link in the video description to another video I did which shows you how I've got the e-track set up because it is reasonably complicated. It's not just a simple matter of me telling you because I'll be on for half an hour. So I'll put a link for that in the video description. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I wish you the best of luck with your hunts. Thanks for watching. Uh, what the hell was it? Better than nout. And these would be sewn into the sem. And these would be sewn into the se sewn into the se seams. Yep, I'm going up now. I'm li I'm literally just about to step in the van. And that was a canny fish. It's like being in a rainforest without all the poisonous spiders. And I'll probably just say something like, oh, just, I don't know. <sighs> just a couple of things I want to say about the E-Track. Thank you very much. Right. Right, yeah, yeah, well, it's meant to get warmer for the end of the week. It is, ah, it's got to get up to almost 20 degrees, apparently, somewhere. Which would be nice. I'm busy for this week, but I could fit it in uh, Monday or Tuesday next week, I would think. Excellent. There's that fish again. What a disaster. I live in paradise. Cradle of filth. Hello. It's a damn nice fish. It actually looked like a brown trout. <sighs> right, I've got four minutes. I better make this fast. <laughs> Forgotten what I was seeing now. Oh, get in there. I've got no hair. <sighs> if you want to see the settings that I had the e track. Thought I was going to get through a video without farting, but there it is. Get in 